Hello, my name is Jane Fontaine. I'm an occupational therapist, and I'm here to show you the Optima and the Optima Carbon thoracic back supports. Both the Optima and the Optima Carbon are identical with the exception that the Optima Carbon is made out of carbon fiber. And being carbon fiber, it is lightweight, it is flexible, the right amount of flex for a back support, as well as very strong. The shape of the Optima has the pelvic cutout as all of our back supports do, but also then the way it has this thoracic trunk support. So it comes up and then out in order to give support at the thoracic trunk area for those clients that need it. It's available in two contours, the standard contour being three and a half inches in depth, and then the deep contour, which goes from five and a half to seven. So we have, I've loosened the two bolts already, and you can see that then I can adjust the depth of the contour for your client should they need just that extra little bit of support. Depending on the length of back support that you have, there is a scapular cutout. Obviously for the lower ones that do not get as high, you do not require the scapular cutout. The Optima is also available with a variety of hardware. You can get the quick release as such, but you can also get fixed hardware, either two point or four point. And then there's also a two point micro fixed hardware, which is really the lightest, most minimal amount of hardware. This would be used most likely in um, a situation of a rigid chair that's uh, lightweight that you wanna keep it as small as possible. The Optima Carbon Back Support is available in widths from 14 to 20 inches in one inch increments. And why that's important, the one inch increment is, for instance, if you're prescribing a rigid manual chair and it's 17 inches, you want to be able to put a 17 inch wide back. You could still put in a 16 that goes into the 17 or 18. However, this way you can have a fine tuned back support for your client. It comes in lengths of nine, 13, or 16 inches. The Optima is available in widths from 14 to 29 inches in one inch increments, and is available in lengths from nine, 13, 16, and 19 inches. An important feature of any back support is how it is uh, removed and put back onto the chair. And often, uh, particularly with folding manual chairs, People do not get rigid back because the effort to take it on and off is quite challenging. So with the uh, next series, we have what's called a one-handed release. And it's simple. I just need to lift this, push forward, and off the back comes off the back of the wheelchair. And then I can snap it back on very easily. If you do not want to get uh, quick release um, hardware, we also offer a four point hardware, a two point hardware, and now a new two point micro hardware, which is very minimalistic, uh, for instance, for a rigid lightweight chair. Also with each of our uh, back supports with the hardware, we have um, three inches that each back can be uh, positioned in. So we have for instance, if you have a 16 inch back, it can go in a 16 inch chair, 17 inch or 18 inch chair. Another feature for me that's very important is the pelvic cutout. And this is uh, for positioning. And how that works is if for instance, you have a back support that um, comes down too far and all of our hardware, by the way, has angle adjustability. So um, if I put a back support too far down, and then as I go to angle the back support, I end up pushing the bum forward, which in effect uh, makes recline. So instead, what we have is a pelvic cutout. And what that does is I wanna aim the PSIS to about here, so that I get support at the PSIS. I in effect have my bum sticking out a little bit beyond. And now if I go to angle the back support, I do this position. So ultimately what I'm doing with that is getting support at the PSAS, creating this posture. Now that's only if somebody has the ability to do that. If not, if I'm more in a fixed posterior pelvic tilt, it's a different scenario altogether. Also with the back supports comes pelvic uh, foam inserts that I can insert to give that extra support as well. All our back supports now come with a 3D spacer mesh fabric cover, which helps with breathability. On the 3D, there's also reflective piping 
to assist in the darkness, for instance, down the street. We also now have an optional infection control cover for the Extend and the U-Fit, and this allows for a wipe down uh, fluid resistant fabric. The foam under the covers um, comes with a dual uh, softness. So we have high density foam, which means good quality, and on the part closest to the client, it's a soft foam, and then a firmer uh, foam to give support so that you're not bottoming out. You also now have the option of um, a visco, this is gel infused visco elastic foam. So a little better for contouring for the client, but we also still have a layer of the polyurethane foam, again, to protect the uh, client from bottoming out. All the foam also extends beyond the edge of the uh, frame so that you get good coverage so that you're not uh, pressing up against the hard uh, aluminum frame. The back supports all have lateral contours that are made of aluminum so that allows you to bend the lateral contour in or perhaps pull it out depending on the person that's using it. You can also slide in e extra foam support to give extra support there. On the back of all the back supports uh, we have slots and these slots can accommodate for head supports uh, shoulder supports and then there's vertical lines here for external lateral support. So if you need addition to the contour lateral, you need to add external lateral supports, you can do that as well. And then there's extra holes here. So if you're mounting the hardware and it's just in the wrong place, for instance, maybe there's a bolt in the way or something, I can move where the hardware is on the back support to accommodate for different uh, back supports on the wheelchairs. The back supports are made out of a very lightweight aluminum shell and there's extra ribs built in for strength. For more information, please visit our website at dynamichcs.com.